Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Midday Nancy. My name is Midday Nancy, and thank you so much for coming today, and thank you for watching this video today. And thank you for subscribing and thank you for liking my videos and for commenting those who comment every time <laughs> Thank you so much. So Today's video. I'm going to be transforming myself and my hair and everything <laughs> I'm just so nervous. I'm going to be transforming myself from this To this So if you want to know how I achieved that look, how I was able to do that on my own, keep watching this video. Please just give this video a thumbs up already. <laughs> Okay, so welcome back. So actually, I'm going to be removing this. I don't know if my hair is 4C or 4B or 3C. I don't know. I don't know how they always know these things, but I've never actually researched on the type of hair I have. Maybe it's 4C natural hair, but it's a natural hair as you can see, like very, very thick and natural. And <laughs> I don't know this is my first time ever I've never tried this I did a video sometime last year of how I made twists like on myself and from beginning to the end I did it on my own and it was awesome I'll leave the link right here so you can go back and watch the video after this video so let's see so first thing first I'm going to be showing you the things I'm going to be using to make my hair before I get into it because I don't think I'm going to talk in the video I'm just going to be trying to do it on my own and in case I look at this side my video uh, my mirror is there there's one there but I think I'll just like look at this side and look at the side it depends first, starting from the like basic stuff um I have like a comb like a cutter something to just cut my hair because I don't know yet I'm just trying this video so I don't know if I'm going to be putting a pattern here or in the middle or I just I don't know yet but I know I'm going to put a pattern somewhere so I just have this little cutter then I have this brush that I got from a store just you know for the gel to sink in so I got this gel what's the name uh, extreme I don't know and it, like it has different sizes eight seven six I just got the eight I I don't know I hope it's going to work for my pony I'm going to I got this two um, attachments from an African store I was so excited like I was super excited to find an African store so I got it in Normandy so if you know watch my video of when I went to Normandy what are you waiting for I have a couple of bands I have a brush for my hair I bought this because I was I don't know what I'm going to tie like what I'm going to use to tie my hair yet I don't want to use an elastic band because I don't know it might cut my hair so I just got to rule because it's so then I have this coiling and straightening iron so I'm I just hope it's going to work so I'm, I plan to use this to straighten out my hair for because you can see it's like twisted I had a twist on it like last since last week I've been I've been on twist so I just took out the twist so it's going to be really difficult for me to just start making a ponytail on this so I'm going to straighten it out if you are trying to recreate this look on yourself like by watching my video and you don't have these things you can still make it like just look for a way to stretch your hair maybe you just make maybe you can make cornrows when I make cornrows my hair is really stretched out so all I have this air dryer that I got from a store very affordable like cheap so I just this is like the maximum <laughs> this is the maximum this thing so maybe something I'll just use this so just to make it dry and I I plan to have this on my head for the next two three weeks so maybe just something to just keep it together also I'm going to be using this coconut oil 
these are my usual um, leave-in conditioner that I use for my hair to just um, give it like so I can comb it properly. So what else? I have a shea butter here, melted shea butter. Just I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I might need it. So that is everything I'm going to be using for this video. So let's jump right into the video. So I just want you guys to see how my hair looks like after stretching it. Like after I divided the hair into sections. So this is one section at the back. This is half. This is so this is what it looks like. Like see the length. See the one I've not stretched. So see. So that's why it's nice to have your hair stretched before you do this here because you want your hair to stretch. This is not the maximum because I'm obviously stretching the hair myself. So I can't really do it well and properly, but I think I have something nice here like I just want it to sleep so I'm going to continue now I'm going to do this and this other bundle so let's continue the video. So I just finished straightening my hair and you can obviously see the difference like this is the difference like from what it was before and what it is now like it's really really different and I even like it like I can even rock my afros like this but that's not the plan for today so let's get back into the video I just wanted to show you like what it will be when your hair is stretched so if you are going to be um, doing this hairstyle on yourself you can consider stretching it and if you don't want to you can just do it like with your hair and or you can try to stretch stretch it anyhow you want so now what am i going to do i just want to straighten out the attachment so i'm using linda hair linda hair i don't know how good it is but i guess we shall see yeah this is big enough like it's bountiful like <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of how it's going to be on me and I'm just excited like so basically this is what I did I just put I don't know how I can explain it I just put the band let's say this is the band okay this, let me just keep this so I've just kept that beside me let's say this is your attachment Divide it into two equal parts. Get your band and just put your band around it like this. Like, put one inside the hole. Like, sorry. So just take your band, put it straight like this. Make sure the attachment is in the middle, like this. Then open this up and take this with it and pull this. So this is what you are going to use for your bond. So, I hope I was able to explain it well because I just had to figure that out myself. I didn't know how to do it, so I just did it now. I don't know if that's not the method others use, but that's how I'm going to be doing my own test. That was easy. So I'm just going to give my hair one more comb and then I can start. So you can choose to actually make yours like like this just one Oof. but I don't know I have a round face so it makes my head is it, it, it doesn't make my head small or big I don't even know how it makes my head and I don't know if I like it but there's another thing I can choose to you know just cut it from the middle Sorry, I'm looking at my camera. Oh. Sorry, I'm looking at my mirror. <laughs> so that's why. So just something like this. As time goes on, like I could choose to change my style during the week. I could change it to the full one. I could do any other thing. Basically, when I'm when I do it this first time, it will be easy. 
to do it other times. So. <laughs> it's not straight. No, there's still something there. Let's keep doing it till we get it straight. Since my ponytail is going to be low, if I pack it up like full without patting, my ponytail is going to be like in the middle. But if I do something like this, my ponytail will be at the back. I think that's better with the shape of my face. Okay, so if that is it, let's get into it. Here we are just to show you the progress before I continue. I'm done like Can you see the pattern and everything is dry? Can you see my hands? My hands my hands are dry like It's all dry just like I said if you don't have a dryer you, you just have to maybe look for a way to blow it or you just chill for a moment just for it to get dry I don't know how to do edges but <laughs> I just tried my best and so this is the pattern I went for. It's not so deep. The curve is not so deep because I'm not good at pattern, but I just did that. So I'm just going to braid my own hair that is left here. So I'm just going to tuck it in in a way so it doesn't disturb me. And tuck it with a pin. Just to get it out, I'm just going to take my hair. I think I'll just rub a little bit of um, shea butter, like shea butter on this because it's so dry. And I just feel with the shea butter, it can stay in place. And because I'm going to braid it actually, and you can just brush it. So, but okay. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to take this take it from here and create like open it up from my hair and just use it as a bond so it's there oh, oh, oh. but this is not the end so still have work to do so now i'm just going to like kind of make it cover my hair like i don't know how i can show you just kind of make it cover my own natural hair I don't know if you can see it. So you can basically take it out this way. And but I don't think I have the strength to be maybe detangling this and everything in the morning. So I'll just break mine. So I'm going to take a little part of the hair from the side, just a little. So I'm going to take this. Just this this much. I'm going to put shear butter on. So it can like stay firm and not coily and stuff. So just something like this, this amount. So I'll take this and keep this around my neck. So the other part of the hair. I'm going to braid it. Okay, so guys, this is the final look. <laughs> I feel so weird. So this is the final look. It got really dark where I was sitting earlier, like in this place. The sun is only somewhere here, so it's not really getting inside. And so I just decided to change my position. This place is a little bit too bright because of the light, but this is just for the outro. And actually, my former sitting position, which was in front of the window side, a tragedy happened this week this week a lot has happened I've just not talked about it yet like something happened I was about to sh like film a video as usual and my tripod broke in two and half of my <laughs> the top part of my tripod and my phone fell outside and the other 
part fell inside so my phone fell down a three story no i told you i live on the topmost floor of the three story so it was a massive crash and um it was a tragedy <laughs> just like i said so i i'm trying to like trying to look at new places like trying to change my position and see if i can get somewhere better i'm just trying my possible best to be careful and so you guys should bear with me okay so, so if, you, if you love this final look please tell me in the comment section <laughs> like i just decided to just use lipstick i remember that i had lipstick i've never used lipstick since i got here because basically i wear mask everywhere and you know what's the point so i just decided to use my lipstick and to also use my eyeliner and that's it to just spice up the look the back i just struggled like it was a big struggle like if you look at the if you watch the video again you see i took some like i took a while trying to just make this bond but either ways i love the way i look and i, <laughs> I don't know so just let me know in the comment section please don't forget to um hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed yet please leave uh, a comment so please give this video a thumbs up if you've watched this part please give it a thumbs up and share this video with your friends with your family and your loved ones that is all see you guys in my next video bye so i just decided to come outside and have some fun alone <laughs> Guys, I'm shivering. I'm shivering. <laughs> I'm so cold. But I'm just like, okay, I can't make this here and I'm not do anything, like not take picture, not go anywhere. So this is my own form of picnic. Some keys. <laughs> oh god, I'm so cold. This is my first time coming outside like with this type of clothes, like off-shoulder clothes. It's cool for the sake of the pictures.